From Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. The medical examiner releases Joan Rivers' cause of death. The autopsy on the body of Joan Rivers reports she died from, and this is technical, anoxic encephalopathy due to hypoxic arrest. In layman's terms, not enough oxygen was getting to her brain as a biopsy was being done on her voice box, one of the most famous around, producing Rivers' notoriously raspy voice. They all thought I stank, and you were the first one to say you're funny. It means your brain is damaged from not enough oxygen for a prolonged period of time. Rivers came to Yorkville Endoscopy for the procedure in late August and was rushed to a hospital in hypoxic arrest, meaning her brain was lacking oxygen. On September 4th, she died and days later came her star-studded funeral. Dr. David Gruner is a cardiovascular surgeon based in Midtown Manhattan who's performed this exact procedure before. He helped us understand exactly what the medical examiner called a predictable complication. Rivers was sedated during the procedure using propofol. After one to three minutes, your brain, when it's starved with oxygen, can't function correctly and it starts to die. So basically that's what happened to Joan Rivers. Her brain was starved with oxygen and it died. Based on the medical examiner's report, Dr. Gruner says Rivers' larynx spasmed and Rivers, under anesthesia, couldn't breathe. She had what's called a laryngospasm, which means the sphincter or muscles of her larynx spasmed shut and it blocked all airway from enter all air from entering and, and coming out of her lungs. Yorkville endoscopy does appear to be shut down. We rang the buzzer. We called them at around 3.30 this afternoon and got nowhere. It says they're open until 5, but nobody's here right now. Nobody's been here all this afternoon. We can tell you that Melissa Rivers, Joan Rivers' daughter, does plan to file a lawsuit against this clinic. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Rob Schmidt, News 4 New York.